Um, hello guys, uh, my name is Raja. Uh, we have got a Kara today. Hi. Hello Kara, are you okay? Yes, thank you. Uh, Kara is doing her uh, first mock test. Uh, she started a few months back with me. Uh, how many hours you done? About eight. Yeah, she done about eight hours. Uh, she have improved a lot. And uh, we are going into our last phase where we're going to start doing the mock test. And if everything goes well, we're going to book her uh, practical test, driving test as well. So, Kara, um, you've been watching the mock test videos, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know the drill. So, in today's mock test, uh, we're going to be following the satellite navigation. So, okay. obviously, uh, if the satellite did not give you any instructions, you simply follow the road ahead unless the road marking and sign tell you otherwise. Okay. If the set nav is wrong, I will tell you early to go in a different direction, okay? Okay. Uh, we will going to do one maneuver, and uh, if we get chance, we may do the emergency braking as well, okay? Okay. Any problem with that? No, it's perfect. Uh, guys, uh, all the good things Kara do will come up as a green. Uh, any serious or the danger fault uh, will be a red mark over there, so you guys can see it as well. All right. So guys, uh, Kara will be following the set nav uh, for her mock test today. Kara, you know the drill. You will arrive so at your if I give you no instructions or the time to be following the road ahead though, yeah? Yeah. So I'm going to be John the examiner now. So remember, if I have to intervene as examiner, yeah. it will be a serious force. If I have to put my hand on the steering or I have to press brake or if I have to give you the word, uh, verbal instructions like a teaching one, classified as a serious fault though. Okay? okay any problem any question before we start no i'm ready no nope. so whenever you're ready your mock test start now please drive off whenever you're ready please After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. right on the roundabout and take the third exit. roundabout and take the first exit towards Blackburn, then turn right. After 200 yards, turn right, then Take the third right. Turn right, then take the third right.
yards, turn right. Turn right. I would like you to park your car anywhere to the left, please. Thank you, and then drive off again whenever it's safe to do so, please. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. After 300 yards, go straight on, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. So she's saying go straight on. So basically at the traffic light, you're turning right at the traffic light, please. Okay. I thought that's what she meant. <laughs> yeah. Go straight on, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. the roundabout and take the second exit.
100 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. So she's telling you go right on the roundabout, fourth exit. You're basically going right on the roundabout, you're taking the third exit, going towards the town centre place. Okay. right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, then take the second right. So the roundabout is no longer existed over there now, so you're just going straight ahead. Okay. And at the traffic light, uh, where the Mexican road is, infirmary, that's where you're turning right, okay? Okay. yards, turn right. At the end of the road, turn right, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Okay, Kara. When it's safe to do so, I would like you to park your car anywhere to the left, please. Oh, oh, that Try off again when you're ready, please.
cross the roundabout and take the second exit, then you have reached your destination. You have reached your destination. Okay, so I will give you the further instructions from now on, okay? Okay. So the next roundabout, turn right and then immediately turn left. So turn right at the roundabout and then turn left, please. I would like you to take the next road to your right, please. And I would like you to park your car to the left. However, I will tell you where. You see where after this junction where the lamp post is, the first yeah. one. Park somewhere over there, please, for me. Just don't go too close to the um, past this lamppost, a bit more closer. And anywhere over here would be fine, please. Thank you. Okay, so I would like you to use a white car, please. Stop side by side and do the parallel parking, please, whenever you're ready. Next roundabout, turn left please, first exit. Next roundabout, I would like you to turn right, please. Second exit. We're turning right, please.
on about I would like you to follow the road ahead second exit towards services please on about turn left please first exit and the next on about turn right please third exit Okay, Kara, this is your mock test finish. Relax yourself. We'll talk about your test in a minute, okay? I'm scared. I can already tell you the two major things I did wrong. I don't even need you to tell me. Two major things? Yeah. I mean, overall, it was a good drive. Obviously, it was your first ever mock test, so you were slightly cautious. Cautious is okay, but not too over cautious, not good either, though, yeah? Okay. You've got five major faults. Uh oh. I thought I only had ten. Only had what? Two. I'm gonna go through with you now, okay? okay. So, and it's gonna come into your mind. So, I'm gonna go through from the beginning. Okay. Now, first is advice. And the advice is that when you turn right into the sandy lane, okay. I asked you to park your car to the left, which you did park your car fine, yeah. but you parked your car too close to the junction like we just did right now. Okay. Obviously there was a home there, what if somebody wanna go in and go out? Yeah. So stop somewhere in the middle so you can give 10 meters apart. That's why I say to you, park your car to the left when it's feel safe. Safe, yeah. Yeah, I didn't okay. say to you park your car straight away. So listen what the examiners are telling you, yeah? Okay. So this is just an advice. I'm giving you minor faults. We we're staying in a sandy lane. There were two occasions you have to stop your car for meeting situation. Yeah. So you stop nicely, you give yourself one car length. Once the car goes, before you move out, what you should be doing, checking your oh my God. mirrors. I didn't do that. So you did after when you have already started moving and then you're checking your mirrors because I have to check my as well. So make sure that once that car goes, like if you stop just be before the Audi, yeah. once the van driver goes, now before you decided to move out. Before you, I go check Yeah, mirrors. because what if a cyclist or motorcyclist overtaking you, not yeah. after. Okay. Yeah, so there will be a minor fault, okay? Your first serious fault will remain in Sandy Lane. You went down the through the bend just where the petrol station is mm -hmm. there was a red car stopped there giving you the way yeah now part of your forward planning you must calculate yourself how wider your car is yeah and how much space there for you okay. now you have got a red car there stopped yeah and on the left there was a porsche yeah. parked over there how much clearance you must give it to me whenever you are passing the park object? How much clearance do we need? Two meters. One meter. Oh, I don't know why I said ten. <laughs> that is a bit long, isn't it? Yeah, well, two meter or 1.5 meter when you're overtaking yeah. uh, pedestrians or cyclists. But any yeah, park card, one car doors, which is one yeah. meter. 
Because otherwise it's <laughs> Do you know when you were going through that porch? Yeah. Do you know how much space over there? Not enough. Do you, do, do, do you realize anything? It, because you were going so slow, I don't need to intervene because I can assess the situation. But you were that close. So I should have let them come through and I should have parked So behind. part of your observation, you should have told yourself, no, no, no. I don't have enough space to squeeze through that space. Okay. You would have stopped nice and early because you yeah. saw the red car was there. Yes, she's not coming, but sometime you will have to make the bold decisions. If you're going to feel that you're going to risk the safety, let them come. Yes, I should have stopped instead of... Obviously, going there if there were no Porsche parked over there, yeah. would have been easier for you to just carry on. Yeah, but so that is your first serious fault, I'm afraid. I see it now. You will see on a video as well. well when yeah, you say, I see when I see you, that. You were that close. Now, because you were close. going so slow, that's the right thing. That's why I did not intervene. So otherwise, I would have intervened like I did next time. That's your first serious fault, yeah? Okay clearance black car yes so second clearance fault is an infirmary area so when you pass those workers who were painting the lane yeah as we're going top where the t junction was i say to you turn right now you're focusing on the right turning which is good, very good but you're thinking correct so you're telling yourself after this car i want to get closer you're fine but what you should be doing keep maintaining one meter space yeah go past mm -hmm. and then if it's safe then you go back over if it's not you have to just stay there as you were getting closer because your speed is slightly faster i have to intervene that time i got too close i should have waited till i got a bit more full and to then turn. go over there that is your second serious fault okay i owed that's the one i already knew i knew that one was bad what is the next one uh, I know my other one was at the M65 here. I didn't watch him coming round. Okay, no, that's too... Okay, we're going to stay where that black car was as you turn right. Yeah. Then I asked you to park your car to the left. Oh, God. Uh, yeah? yeah? What did you do? Parked it. You parked it? Well, on the pavement or... You remember car went on the pavement and it's come down? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, because it went up on the pavement. Then, yeah. So, would that be a minor or a serious a fault? Serious fault. So, what if there was any pedestrians there? Oh, I could not come over. So, I there will them. be a serious fault, unfortunately, because... Or, think about the car point of view. So, what if something damaged in the car that time? What if yeah. the tire get punctured? What if the right wheels get punctured? Because you went quite up there. Yeah. You shouldn't be doing that. So, that is also a serious fault, though. Okay. Okay. Manoeuvre. Oh god, don't. That went so bang. So manoeuvre, you were going nicely. If you remember, and it's going to be video, I say to you, but before you're doing the parallel parking, it's a good idea to lower your left mirror, which you didn't. Again, if you don't, it's fine. You don't want yeah, to get fed, but you would have seen it better. It but better. also, the second reference is a green line. Remember, if this is a curb, you're supposed yeah. to be stopping about here. Yeah. I went too close. You, yes. The, I was here. And that is the reason why. Now, you took two attempts. The first attempt, you touch the curb, um, let it go, if I'm examiner. So I thought, yeah. okay, that's why I'm going to, because you went forward. But when you're going forward, you should have gone slightly to the left, but you've just gone I straight. Went, yeah. So then you tried second time. Then again, as you're reversing, you went to the curb again. Yeah. But third time, you realize you just going straight out so what you did then I you went, went left and then come back now it was too late by then because first time when you touch the curb examiner may let it go okay she's trying again but when you do it again yeah it, it will be a cs fault your observation was fine nothing wrong with that but your control was totally wrong for the maneuver so it will be a serious fault on your yeah, maneuver i managed to fix it well i just should have gone left instead of going straight forward and ended up on the curb again Correct. okay now the last one is m65 yeah now this is exactly and this is very important for everyone guys m65 roundabout black bun motorway roundabout as you are approaching now there's two lane coming from their car isn't it yeah? yeah now you saw that first lane was empty now you're correctly fine right so that you say okay nobody in my lane you try to go but that white car, as he going past the bend, so as you're going past, he should have been staying into the right lane. Did you notice which lane he ended up going into? He ended up going into the right one, so that's why I one. missed him. Did that car behind him. So the whole point is, 
you don't want to risk like that because what we will do that don't do lane discipline properly mm -hmm. now you saw your lane was empty but the other lane was a car there but that car eventually he end up going into our lane so in this scenario because they're coming 40 miles per hour wait till they're completely gone don't risk it i know that okay? for next time a lot of learners fail for this misjudgment please okay even sometime people are signaling coming into your way yeah but then they're going straight so always remember judge their body behavior and m65 roundabout you wait until you're 110% sure and then react quickly. Yeah, you might better off waiting until the road's completely clear. Cause completely clear or obviously if somebody's coming slowly and then you feel I have enough time, then you can like, go. Like if there's any learner coming, they're quite far back and you know you can go without impeding them, without making them slow down. Yeah. Or what if the big lorry coming, if they're coming slow, then you can decide as well. But that white car was coming quite fast and it's on the video so eventually he ended up going into our lane so that's why i have to press a break yeah because that was a big risk i'm afraid that yeah, time okay so apart from that it was a good drive i mean it was slightly cautious too cautious is not good as well but we that's now the first mock test is now done I'm hoping that next time you'll be understand that it's not not as bad yeah. as you. I suppose. felt it went. I felt it went quite good for my first one. Yeah, I think you it was just a couple of silly mistakes like the curbs and then yeah. not waiting hundred percent. So you only have one minor for not looking in mirrors yeah. two time on the sandy lane, and you have got one, two, three, four, five serious faults. But I feel like they could be quite easily fixed. Well, I mean, if you would have not gone for that Porsche where the clearance was, yeah. would not have the well, the black car. Again, clearance. Yeah, that could have easily yeah. been fixed. That curb, I don't know how you end up going in that curb at that time. No, I don't. That again could have easily not have Yeah, been so that's three. Maneuver, if you would have stopped just before that. Or fixed it the first time by going left. And then they would have been fine. So, but this is how you're going to learn it. You know I mean, learn from your mistakes. So you have got I'm, one. I know they see results, but I don't feel like they're like the big, like really big bad ones. I feel like they're easily fixable. So, so. I think. The M65 one could have been a danger because yeah, uh, that could have been a lead to an accident. Now, the other ones, especially the Porsche one, I mean, that was very, and the black one, no one like to get too close. I'm going to give you an extreme example. Imagine as you were going through that closer park car, yeah. and the same moment, my car stopped. Yeah malfunction yeah and get fire you couldn't get out now you're gonna be able to go out what Wait. about the passenger you can you're, you're on fire i'm gonna be tossed in there isn't <laughs> it yeah so this is why yeah. imagine that's how the examiners think as well yeah that's fair enough yeah so they're saying look i can't open the door i'm sorry what if yeah. something happened yeah? yeah but overall it's good any problem any questions no no i'm quite happy good all right guys uh that's our first mock test with gara today we're gonna be doing more mock tests with Kara anyway so uh, i hope she will improve and i'm sure she should she's a very clever you are clever <laughs> so you're just gonna learn from it and we're gonna get better and better i mean it wasn't that bad today uh it's clearance issues which i'm sure Kara will pick up and then she's gonna get better next time okay thanks guys for watching is bye from me and See bye later. from Kara. see you later guys